Hey, in this video, I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about favoriting your frameworks. So let's open up frameworks and let's talk about this for a minute. In your day to day writing copy and closers copy, you're going to notice that you lean more towards using certain frameworks than others. It's pretty inevitable. You'll find some that you like and some that you don't use as often. So it's important that you speed up your workflow by favoriting them and being able to find them really fast and efficiently. So let's go ahead and talk about favoriting. For example, when I'm creating ads, I know that I like to use the attention, interest, desire, action uh, framework. So let's go ahead and favorite that. If I go ahead and favorite that, I can now put this in my favorite ads and I'll go ahead and save this. Now what you'll notice is that right inside of my favorite ads under my favorites, you'll see the ADA category. And if I want to go ahead and add more ads that I like to use, I can do that. If I have a custom framework, let's just say new and I say my favorite ad framework, my ads, and I'm just going to leave this blank for an example. We'll go ahead and save this, but I'm going to go ahead and favorite that and I'll put it in my favorite ads. And then let's also find some ads in the community library. So if I were to go into the community library by browsing community frameworks, I'll go ahead and search for ads. And when I search up ads and I add a couple of these, So you'll see that the ones that I've just added are now in the community library. So what I'll do is I'll go to my Facebook ads and I'll favorite these. Awesome. So now that I have all of those added, you can see that those are kind of everywhere. And if I wanted to look through ad templates, I'd have to go to the base library. I'd have to go to my community library and search through different ones. I'd have to go through my library. But now all I have to do is hit my favorite ads and you can see that I've got ads from my library, community library and the base library. And I can use these all from my favorite ads which is super great because now I don't have to go digging all around trying to find these. Now you do want to be careful because once this is in here, if I were to delete this, this is not a copy. This is my actual framework that I've built out. So if I want to delete this from my frameworks, you do not delete it here. You're just going to click on your favorite icon again and you're going to remove it and then save. And then your favorite ads framework will no longer be a part of your favorites, which now you can see here. But if I want to add that again, I certainly can. So let's go ahead and add that from my ads one more time. And then one other thing I want to mention is that let's say I use the ADA updated ad framework for emails as well. I can go ahead and actually click on this and also add it. If I add a comma, I can say my favorite emails because I may not just use that for an ad formula. I may follow the ADA framework for emails as well. So if I click on save, now I will have the ADA in two different shortcuts. Now I have it for my favorite emails as well. And you can see how now you can have a library of favorites for emails in specific. That way you don't have to go digging all the way through all of your base libraries, community libraries, your libraries, and so on and so forth, going back and forth. All you have to do is go right to your favorites and this will speed up your workflow a lot. 